Hey, what's up guys? It's Merc here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this season in Arena. Uh, Arena isn't something I do a lot of, but this season I decided I was going to try and actually get a decent cap, you know, get my gear a little quicker. I always end up with my gear, but I may not get it as quick as other people, mainly because I prefer the world PvP side of things and the BGs and a little less serious PvP. You know what I'm saying? But this season, figured I'd give Arena a go. Whatever. So I've been trying to work it out. Basically, what works best for my class. And I haven't been going online. I haven't been looking at anything in particular. I've just been trying to work out what works with my playstyle. Which spec, which comp. Stuff like that. And I'll be honest with you, it hasn't been going the best. I, I've probably been losing quite a bit, quite a bit more than I normally would even. What it all boils down to is there are a few cold hard facts about Arena this season that you probably should know before stepping into it this particular season, which you're going to want to know and you'll probably quickly find out the hard way like I did. Number one, uh, Double DPS doesn't really work unless you play certain very specific comps. Uh, for instance, Rogue Mage still kind of works. That's one of the comps I found. If you played Subtlety, it worked. Uh, healer Plate, specifically Healer Warrior, is a very, 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 very strong team. Like, pretty much unbeatable 1v1 with whatever healer as a rogue. You can't do it. You might have a chance with a mage, but chances are probably not. It kills pretty much everything. Uh, people in guild have been talking about it going like 20 to 1 and 20 to 3 and just stupid, like, stupid ratios for players that have never been able to achieve ratios like that before. So clearly, something's a little off there. That's, that's something I, I worked out through much frustration. Combat is viable. It's maybe not the best spec. Honestly, I'd probably stick with sub. Sub seems to have the best burst capabilities apart from the 15 seconds of win that you get with Killing Spree. But the only problem with Killing Spree is it's useless for the other 2 minutes and 45 seconds. I mean, you know, apart from CC and whatnot. But basically, damage output pretty much useless for uh, for combat during the time that you don't have cooldowns up. Subtlety is a little better. You can put out burst damage without, you know, any of your cooldowns up like Shadow Blades or Shadow Dance. I mean, you can still get decent burst damage out. And that's what counts. So, certain comps, I mean, Killing Spree is the only thing I found that could kill healers. Uh, subtlety, Mutilate, Mutilate just doesn't have enough burst, uh, the sustained DPS is not what you need in Arena right now, it's just really kind of bursty, you've, you've just, like the only way to, to win is to burst, if a healer can heal for, for like one second, you know, that's, that's game, you either have to CC chain to the maximum, like, 30 seconds of just straight CC, I mean, maybe maybe not quite that much, depending on your burst, but I mean, you can kind of have one or the other, you can have burst or crazy CC, or if you're a mage priest team, you can have, you can have both, but um, anyway, what I found best is either combat uh, with certain healers, like my shaman, I could kill other healers as combat. Uh, so, combat with certain healers, shamans, priests, doesn't seem to work with a pally. Um, subtlety with mages. Uh, and it worked with a boomkin as well, but I'd probably recommend a mage. So, back to the old school roots of sub with a mage, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and if you are prepared to play some longer games, try out Killing Spree with, with a healer. If you do do it right, you can kill other healers if you time your cooldowns right and your healer can assist you. So that's just an idea. Also, the dark reality is 
You're not going to do jack for damage until you get your grievous weapons as a rogue this season. At least your main hand for subtlety. It makes a really big difference. And, you know, pick them up as soon as you can. They, uh, they really, really do help. I started doing a lot more damage once I equipped my main hand for Arena. I mean, things became a whole little bit easier. Anyway, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Just a little late night video to give you guys some tips about Arena because I've been getting pretty frustrated. Um, if you've seen my stream in the last two days, you've probably seen some of that frustration because... It's kind of not fun learning when you're losing all the time. So, yeah, as much as I love learning uh, and testing out new things, kind of sucks. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit it with a like. And, yeah, leave me some feedback. Feedback's always nice. Love reading them comments. All right, this is Merc out. Cheers.